Today's video is about eating flexibly and motivation. Hi, this is me, Bonnie. We're gonna check in with Apollo. It's week three of his transformation following my Eat Not Die Pink Body Accelerated course, a step-by-step -step course where I guide you to lose body fat, change your body composition, and find out how to eat for life in a way that's sustainable and works for you based on all custom everything. <laughs> I'm also going to share a quick update on my progress on mini cut this month and the next step in launching my ladylike macho bodysuit brand. My goal for this month was to hit 140 pounds on the scale and I hit 139.8 pounds today so I think I'm allowing myself some brunch, maybe half of a croque madame uh, at a popular French spot actually from France called Angelina's that is now in New York City and I've been eating about 2,500 calories. Technically I'm not at 140 pounds yet, that's what the scale says. I'm averaging 142.5 pounds. And when I started, I was averaging 145 pounds. So down 2.5 pounds in the last two weeks, which is reasonable progress. Aliana is crying. Say hello, say hello. <laughs> um, I'm 5'6". Aliana, I'm Aliana. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh God, what is this? She decided to give me a booger. This is step two, part two. After my idea and finding examples, I had to find someone to actually design and create the bodysuits. Unfortunately, I had no luck with the friends and family or FIT internship route. Luckily, as I was sharing what I was doing with some of my friends, one friend said he actually knew a fashion industry veteran that owned a clothing factory in Manhattan's fashion district. And she also recently did a show with Vivian Tam. I was like, wow, that would be so awesome if you could introduce me somehow because any help would be greatly appreciated and extremely helpful because clearly this person would know the industry inside and out. I wasn't looking to have a whole factory production and I didn't want to pay an arm and leg and this FIT intern that I would hire would be minimum wage so I thought maybe I could just ask this fashion industry veteran if I could pay her a rental fee of some sort to have this intern sew and create the garments at her place. Long story short I shared my idea and what my brand was about and she said it sounded promising and we should meet. So I'm very excited to share that I'll be working with her as my designer and manufacturer. You'll meet her soon. And I feel extremely fortunate to be working with this veteran that has over 30 plus years of experience. She's done everything from fitness to selling her own evening gowns in New York City, creating props for people selling things in the Hamptons, and even designed costumes for celebrities like The Rock. How cool is that? Wow, you made costumes for The Rock? I made all those. Oh, so you made the costumes for the WWF guys. That's amazing. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Your take a gold dust. He's a red famous. He's this guy too. She's been featured and interviewed internationally in major publications in China, Japan, sponsors the Miss Chinatown pageant in the US, etc. etc. I'm not even sure of all the things that she's accomplished. Popular Japanese yeah, magazine. We take, yeah, we take like what's your mission to be in the fashion? Oh, Hong, Hong Kong. Kong very yeah. popular magazine in Hong Kong. Yeah. The mirror. Working with this woman makes me feel like I can actually make my idea a reality. You know what I mean? All right, that's it for today. Please like this post, comment below, and follow me along my journey for the next step. All right, let's check in with Paolo. You said the food poisoning, was it from all that pizza that you showed me? No, I don't know if it's pizza, but <laughs> but it was, it might be the Chinese food. I do up twice. Oh man. Well, how much pizza did you eat? Because even though you have so much pizza, you don't have to eat yeah. a ton of pizza right and then if you do eat the pizza it's about well what do you eat the rest of the day the bad thing about this company is the temptation with a lot of food when they say we're doing a pizza day i want to say i want to just do a salad day <laughs> no all. you don't need to you don't need to punish yourself right if they're doing a pizza day you can still have some uh -huh. pizza just don't have a whole lot of pizza it's easier for me to like uh <clears throat> take some home. So this we're gonna have to talk about your motivation and what you really want to do. Then. <laughs> when you eat too much, right, and too much crap, mm -hmm. you should really yeah. focus on eating less for the rest of the day. And if you're gonna eat other things, eat healthier, right? So you ate Chinese food, which generally is not healthy. I well, just didn't eat anything from Friday night to like Sunday morning. That actually helps you get lower overall calories per day for the week. So that actually accidentally helped you. Since you started the new year and you did eat a little less overall, have you seen yeah. any difference in how you look? Yeah. It's as long as I keep on moving, I try to do like 10,000 steps a day. What kind of difference but have it, you seen? Um, like my 
skin tightens up. Where are these before photos? Yeah, yeah. Send me your photos. Yeah, well, tomorrow. I'll have one of the guys take a picture of me at work. Okay, and then so, your before photo and your photo now. Yeah. You mentioned you wanted to do intermittent fasting. Now, this 24-hour fast, like, is that something mm -hmm. you think you could do each week? Or would that be really challenging? Mm, no, I could do that if I f put more commitment. I did try five days, but in reality, I did it up to four, four and a half days. Then I got it. Oh, my okay. God. Okay, that's gone. really extreme. We're looking at what are some changes that you can do forever for the rest of your life, right? Yeah. So there, are, there is a strategy where some people are fine with fasting one day the entire week mm -hmm. right so they do that every week they fast for 24 hours and because of that it it helps lower their overall calories for the week and so for the rest mm -hmm. of the days they just eat normally or they still try to make healthier choices but they don't have to go as crazy with the counting of you know calories or macros or anything like that because because they fast that one day a week and it's easy for them easier overall if it's something that someone can do for the rest of their life, right? If you don't think you can do that forever, then it doesn't make sense because then it's too strict. No, I think I could do it one or two days. Then when I'm stressed over something, then I feel like I need something sugar boost. To okay, give me. so with the stress eating, I mentioned this, there is a part in the program yeah. that's the motivation mindset training that uses psychology to reverse bad habits such as stress eating. Have you gone through that yet? Uh, not yet. Okay, so you but need to do I, that. Yeah. Okay, now with the six-week program, what have you actually gone through? Like, have you gone through week one, two, or three? Only gone through the first one now. And, like, it's just mainly is the commitment. You've only gone through week one. Week one is, like, the foundations, <laughs> right? You didn't even get into the actual, like, here's oh. how to do it and the motivation mindset training. Yeah. I think that's probably key for you because even if you know all the great things to do, if you don't actually yeah. do it and you don't, you're not consistent, you're not yeah. going to get anywhere. So I have a few questions then. If you were to rate yourself on how motivated are you from one to ten, what would you say? In my mind, I really want to be, like, a nine or a ten. Okay, it's what you want to be, but, but what are you? Yes. In actuality, yep. it's like a, a four. Oh, wow. That's pretty low. Three. That's really yeah, low. I do want to change. Paulo, right there, we already know your problem. It's week three, and you've only <laughs> gone through week one of the program. Yeah. And you just yep. told me your motivation is a three, four, right? So right yeah. there is your issue. You need to figure out your motivation. So find out all the reasons for why you need to change. So let me ask you a few other questions down this path then. How many pounds do you want to lose? And what is your dream body? Around 190. So you yeah, want to lose 30 pounds. What is your dream body? Just to be more healthier, not feeling like, oh, like have a muffin top. Hopefully when I do this, that I won't be uh, tired as much mm -hmm. and I just have more energy. You need more emotional reasons for why you need to change. Let's say you were to be 190 pounds and you had no muffin yeah. top and you were healthier. Yeah. What would that mean for you? Like, how would your life change if that was you? Well, it would be easier for me to protect people, tell them, like, hey, this is what you need to do to be better. If they look at me, right, they'd be like saying, hey, you're telling me this, but you look like this. <laughs> I'm like also like an image consultant and things like that. Like, I care about how they look and stuff like that. But if I don't do the same thing, how can I tell someone else, even though I know I'm correct? So I need to do this so then I can prove it to them that like, hey, what I'm telling you is like, you know, I don't want you guys to look bad. So I need to do the same thing, too. OK, so you care about what others others think and you also want to set a good example. Yes. Is that your main reason for why you want to change? Well, also to feel better i see like all these friends and relatives have all these disease and things like that it's not just about the want right it's why you need to so i would focus yep. on answering questions like you have to reflect on yourself and answer <laughs> questions like why can you not stay in your current situation mm -hmm. I would literally like list it out, literally list out like what are all the reasons for why you want to change and why you can't stay in your situation or not even why you want to, why you need to change. Like you can have all the, this is like, this is the exact like step by step. How do you change all the right information, all the ways you can be flexible and it won't matter 
if you don't know your reason why. That powers everything and it has to be something emotional. And if the temptation right now seems to be your biggest issue, I would definitely just zoom straight to the motivation mindset training part. That's true. Yeah. So I expect you to do better next week and I want to see yeah. photos. All right, that's it for today's video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for my next video where I'm gonna start answering some frequently asked questions. Thanks for watching.